guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? Uh, you should be seeing this video sometime during the last five or six days of October. Not sure when. <laughs> so for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot and I make stitch markers. So go check out my Etsy shop. It is linked down below in the description box. If you could favorite the shop and favorite a few items, it really does help me out a whole lot. Uh, so I do live here in the Chicago area. I have one daughter, her nickname is Carrots, like the vegetable. And we have one rescue dog, his name is Camo, like camouflage. So for this year in the past couple of years, we have been helping with a domestic violence organization that is also based here in the Chicago area called Wings. So all of the link for wings links for wings will be down below in the description box if you want to go and check out their website and learn more about their organization and what they did is they allowed us to donate handmade items and they've they keep allowing it so we're going to keep doing it until they tell us to stop <laughs> so the person that i am in contact with uh, has a specific list of items that she wants every month or that she's requesting every month um and so the list is always down below in the description box but since we are at the end of october i will tell you that this month was lovey's um i'll i'll show you what a little lovey looks like and you'll see them all in this video today there's a ton of them um, but it is already the end of October so if you have not sent in your lovies um, go ahead and see if you can donate those locally and for the month of November they are asking for uh, toys for boys so that could be any kind of amigurumi that you can think of I know some people last year sent in like checker sets and flying discs and um, you know amigurumi dinosaurs and things like that um, and they're also uh, accepting two baby blankets per person or per household. So if you have some baby blankets laying around and you would like to donate them, uh, feel free to do that. So only two blankets per person. And then uh, they are requesting that um, we turn in the donations before Thanksgiving. So please try and get in your November donations way before Thanksgiving, uh, cause they start their holiday um, gift drives and stuff like that. And they won't have time to accept donations after that. So if you have any questions, send me an email, rosekescrochet gmail.com. Um, Always leave a comment down below. I do appreciate that. And, you know, if you can donate locally, try and donate locally because it'll help your community and it'll save you money on postage. That's for sure. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm going to mostly be showing you lovies, I think. And I have 39 packages. I got a little bit um, sidetracked this past week. Um, life got to lifing. Um, so I have 39 packages, and if you've been around for a while, you know that means that uh, this will be a, a probably a three-part video, <laughs> so or a three-part video series. So this is part one, and I think we're going to have to do three parts. So I'm going to do 13 packages in this video, and then 12 in the next two videos. Yeah, I think that equals 37. So, um, so hang out and, uh, you know, they're all so adorable. Hopefully it won't take so long for all of them. Um, but since October is domestic violence awareness month, I do want to give you some statistics. This will be our last, um, my last little um, snippet of statistics for uh, domestic violence for this month. That doesn't mean it ever stops. It just means I'm not going to give you the little uh, information. So uh, th this is all information that I'm getting from Wings because um, I support them. So I'm on their email list. Okay. So the title of the um, email that I got, it says, it's not abuse because I'm not being hit. Many people equate domestic violence only to physical abuse between intimate partners, but there are six other ways it happens. They are emotional, psychological, financial, economical, verbal, stalking or cyber stalking, sexual, and the last one is spiritual. Often an abuser will use more than one type of abuse on the victim. Gaining power is at the heart of domestic violence. The abuser wants to maintain power and control. And then there's a whole bunch of statistics, but I'm not going to read those. If you guys want to go check out the Wings website, all of that information is um, on there. So like I said, for this month, uh, we are collecting lovies. And so we have 13 packages for this video. Um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. So I'm going to show you all of the good stuff that we got. Oh my gosh, I took a peek in some of the boxes. You guys are so cute. Okay, so and then remember to leave a positive comment down below um, and let everyone know what you think of their beautiful makes. It's 
it's absolutely amazing. So, okay, so the first package that I have here is from Lucretia, and Lucretia is from New York, and I have a note, and it says, Hi, Rose. First time making a lovey and had so much fun. Quick project, loved it. All blankies have been washed and kept in plastic bags. Just used yarn from my stash, either Big Twist or Karen. I used Z's pattern. So the pattern that I use personally when I'm making these loveys is from Zelda and RJ3. And her video tutorial for the lovey is always linked in all of my description boxes for all my videos. So you guys can go and check that out. Um, you like, I mean, we're not asking for any more after at this point. So, so if you haven't already sent them, don't send them, but these are really good for Christmas presents or holiday presents. Um, you can use any pattern that you want. Um, she also says, my baby blankets are ready to go for next month. See you then from Lucretia. Oh, Lucretia, I'm so excited. Okay, so here are the lovies. These are so cute. These are little tiny itty bitty ones. So you guys, I know someone asked last time, what, what is that? You cut their heads off? And no, we don't cut their heads off. <laughs> so it's a full size stuffy under there. And you put a little, um, you crochet around a hair tie and then they just get their little poncho or their little dress or blanket, however you want to call it. So here's these two. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then there's two more. I always get the big ones. I should probably start doing some of the little ones. And here are the last two. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Lucretia, thank you so much for sending all four of these adorable, adorable lovies. I'm so excited to be able to bring these over to Wings. I appreciate that. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys. So the next package comes from one of my favorite people here on YouTube. Her name is Jax. Hi, Jax. And her YouTube channel is called Creations by Jax. So I will make sure that I link her down below in the description box. And I have a little note with the little froggies on the back. It says, hi, Miss Rose. Skirting in, <laughs> scooting in last minute with three of Z's lovies. 100% acrylic random yarns. Love, Jax. And she always puts these little... I don't know what they are, but they smell really good. She always puts those in her bags. Oh, okay. So here is one of the lovies. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And she stuck the arms through the little holes and it's a big bunny. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it's so soft. Jax, thank you so much for that. And check out this guy. This is a sloth. Oh my gosh, and how appropriate to have such a long blanket. I love this. Oh my gosh, see, I always just make them big enough to cover their, their feet. <laughs> you are very ambitious, Jax. I love it. Look at how, how stinking cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then wait till you guys see this one. Are you ready? This is called the Mega Lovey. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? No way. Are you serious? Look at how big this guy is. Oh my gosh. This is humongous. Do you see how big this is, you guys? This is a humongous stuffy. <laughs> and the blanket is huge. And I just love him. Oh my God, Jax, this is so freaking cute. You guys go check out Jax's channel. She has a lot of tutorials for hats, like her own designs, um, and I and shawl. She has like um, a hug shawl or something. I have not made it yet, but it's it's on my to do list. So go and check out Jax from Creations by Jax. Thank you so much, Jax, for sending all of these gorgeous lovies, especially this big one. This is so much fun. I do appreciate you. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Diana and she's from Michigan and I have a long note here. It says, hi Rose, last box for this year. This was a fun box to fill for October and November. The lovey that is green and blue. Okay, oh my God, it's so cute. Which is this guy. Oh, hold on. He's not even facing the right way. There we go. <laughs> uh, it says, this is from Moogly called Sleepy Time Baby Blanket. Okay, how cute is that? Oh my goodness gracious, I am in love with that. So this is from Moogly called Sleepy Time Baby Blanket. And then it says the other two lovies are Z's pattern. Okay, so we have a Groot and we have a dragon. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love them. It says, 
Oh, so now we're on to baby blankets. Okay, so three lovies. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now we have baby blankets. Um, the baby blanket that is blue, black, and purple is the Mitered Granny Square by Hooked by Robin. And this was the tag. It's a Karen Cloud Cake. And the color is called Lagoon. So that is this one. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh, I love the mitered granny square. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, thank you so much, Diana. And then it says, the baby blanket in green is my version of the bag o day um, crochet along with the Sesame Street characters. Okay, so oh, how cute is this? Okay, so I'll hold it up. Um, this one is such a great tactile blanket. I think it will be a great comfort to someone. I am sure they will all be loved by someone. Happy rest of the year and holidays. You're an angel for wings, Diana. Oh, thank you, Diana. Look at that. I know you guys can see that. That is so stinking cool. I absolutely love it. And I love the colors. And thank you so much. And by the way, if anyone has any questions on sizes for baby blankets, wings did not specify. So feel free to make the baby blanket any size that you want. Uh, if you need to have exact dimensions, I would go to just Google it and see what um, what the sizes are for baby blankets. Um, I don't think they have preemies there, so just regular baby blankets. Diana, thank you so much for these blankets and the lovies. They're absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, so the next package that I have here is from Ethel, and she's from Florida. And I have a note here, and it says, Hi, Rose. The three pony blankets are made with Lion Brand Homespun. The white and brown ponies color blankets are the color Vineyard. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys, wait till you see these. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at how big these are. These are humongous stuffies, you guys. So she says the blanket is homespun and the color is called Vineyard. So I'll just show you guys these. So they're actually, they're so cool. Look at how big those are. Oh my gosh, some little kids are gonna have so much fun with these. They're awesome. Okay, and then she says the gray pony, the blanket color is called Baroque. And look at that, it's like a little shawl for the pony. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these. It says wash and dry, 99% acrylic, no pattern. I love all of the other contributions. Such great creativity from Ethel from Florida. She says, P.S. No hurricane Ian damage in, uh, in Florida where she was at. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, Ethel, I'm so glad that you're safe and you had no damage. There was one other thing in the box though, and there's no note about it, but here's the other thing that's in the box. So it looks like a pouch like this, and I'm sure you guys can probably guess what this is, right? So it looks like a tic-tac-toe game, and there are pieces inside. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? So there are red O's, and there are gray squares in here. Oh my gosh, Ethel, this is so awesome. Thank you so, so much for sending the tic-tac-toe game. This is obviously a game, um, a Toys for Boys, that we will be submitting in, for November's donation. So Ethel, thank you so, so much for sending this awesome game and the ponies, they're awesome. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, so the next donation wasn't actually mailed to me. Uh, this was an order from my Etsy shop from Lisa, and Lisa is from my state here. Um, and what she did is she bought one of my lovies. I do sell a lot of lovies on my Etsy shop, and I appreciate everyone who bought a lovey so that they could donate it for wings. Um, but she actually wants this to be donated for Toys for Boys in November. So Lisa, I'm gonna hang on to this until November, and I'll bring it with all of the Toys for boys. So she bought one of my Coco Melon lovies. Um, from what I understand, his name is JJ. Um, and I think I listed it as a panda, but it's a koala bear. <laughs> so this uh, Coco Melon, and, and it's a full size guy, will go into the November donation pile for toys for boys. And so Lisa, I so appreciate you making the purchase off my Etsy shop. Um, so that we can bring this over to Wings. So thank you so much for that. All right, we're gonna get to the next one. All right, so the next package comes from Sarah and Sarah's from Texas and check out this card. Hubba hubba, 
Elvis. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so let me see what she says here. Hello, Rose. So excited to send in these lovies. I've never made one before. Oh my gosh, these are so much fun if you guys haven't made one before. Okay, she says the blanket part is a mix of Z's pattern and crystal at Bag o Day Granny Square because I kept getting confused. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully they'll be okay. Thank you for all that you do. I'm really enjoyed. I've in really enjoyed participating this year. Thank you from Sarah. And I appreciate appreciate everyone who's participated this year. Even if you never donated anything, if you left comments on the videos, that is more than enough. Okay, so let's see here. The fox, she says, oh my gosh, look at this little guy. There's his, his oh, I should probably not be flashing you. <laughs> uh, this is Baby Bee Sweet Delight and the color is Baby Camo. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then we have a penguin. Oh my gosh, I love him. And this one is, I love this yarn called Nova Scotian Sky. So that's from Hobby Lobby as well. And then, okay, so this has to be my favorite one out of all of them. Do you guys see this? <laughs> I love this guy. He's so cute. This is um, a dinosaur and she is Baby Bee Soft and Sleek Baby and the color is called Grasshopper. Sarah, thank you so much for sending all of these adorable lovies. I am so excited to bring these over to Wings. I'm actually going to be going on Saturday, which I'm not sure when you're seeing this video, but um, I'll be dropping all this stuff up on Saturday. So thank you again, Sarah. I appreciate it. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next package comes from Jamie, and Jamie is from a town here in Illinois, and I got this awesome card. Oh my gosh. And she says, Rose, thank you for the opportunity to help such a wonderful mission. I have watched a long time, but first donation. I know the children will, will adore all of these lovies donated by such talented people. Thanks from Jamie. She says, P.S. I bag both lovies since I have cats, even though, even though I do most crochet on the go. Oh, thank you so much for doing that. Um, for anyone who's wondering, I am highly allergic to cats. So if you do have cats, if you want to bag your stuff or wash it before um, you send it and make sure they're not on it, that would be so totally awesome. Um, so here's one of them. So I'm going to leave these guys in the bag since she said she has cats. And so that's a, adorable. I love this Beanie Boo. So pretty. And then there's a bear. Oh my God. He's so cute. His name is Cody. I already know that because I have these guys. <laughs> and the blanket is perfect. I love that. Wow. Thank you so much, Jamie, for sending these beautiful lovies. I really do appreciate it. I'm so excited that you donated for the first time. Um, and I really do appreciate that a whole lot. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, so the next box that we have comes from Michelle, and she's from Wisconsin. That's my neighbor to the north. What a pretty card. All right, she says, Dear Rose, all lovies are in plastic because I have a cat. I don't let my boy sit on my yarn or work, but I'm just being careful. Thank you so much. Thanks for Z's tutorial. It was great, and I love the, that her dogs got in the picture. Oh, she was so mad at them in that video. <laughs> Thanks for all you do, Michelle. P.S. Some of the lovies were made with yarn that I won from Anne at Dezola Designs on YouTube. How exciting, right? Okay, so she's got them all in bags, so we're going to leave them in there. I'm going to show you little faces. This is the first one. Oh my gosh, look at this guy right here. So you can see their blankets. This one is like a blue ombre and this is all pink. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. Okay, and then we have, oh, we have a big lion in this one. Check that out. This whole thing is one lovey, you guys. Oh, no way. <laughs> That is so awesome. Oh my goodness gracious. Here's another one. He's big too. He's one big stuffy in this huge bag. And look at how pretty the colors are on that yarn. Oh my goodness. I am in love with them. And look at this big elephant. I need to start getting bigger at lovies, you guys. Look at how adorable that is. It's a rainbow elephant. And the blanket is pink and purple and blue and absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so much for sending these huge lovies and the little ones too. 
I really appreciate you guys so much. The kids this year are going to have an amazing holiday, that's for sure. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Barbara and she's from Georgia and I didn't see a note and that's totally fine, but I'm going to show you the lovies that she sent. Oh my gosh, this is like a little rainbow owl unicorn lovey. <laughs> so cute so these are all like the full-size guys and look at the colors on the blanket oh my goodness that is so pretty okay and then we have this guy oops I just showed you his tushy okay oh my gosh it's a sloth <laughs> and look at how perfect the blanket colors match I love that I'm pretty um obsessive about matching the colors on my lovies too that's perfect Oh my goodness, Barbara, you are like amazing. Okay, here is this humongous guy. What is he like a like he's like a fox or something? I could be wrong. Maybe it's uh from Wild Republic is the stuffed animal. Oh, it's a wolf. It's a wolf. Okay, but he looks so adorable for a wolf. And look at the like the what should we call it? It's on the bottom. You know what I'm talking about? The border. <laughs> That is so pretty, shell border. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then we have this guy. I never see those big ones. This is a huge koala bear. Oh my gosh. Barbara, where did you get this from? Oh my gosh. Um, and it's like really soft. It doesn't have the big eyes like the Beanie Boo. I just want to see what his name is. His name is Oscar. And look at how big he, like big he is. And then look at how big his blanket is. Oh my gosh, I need an Oscar in my life. And then here is the creme de la creme. This is a handmade lovey. So she did the amigurumi face and ears and hands. And then the blanket. So this, there's nothing, this is nothing, like nothing underneath it. This is the amigurumi lovey that I could not do. <laughs> because these are my problems are attaching these kinds of things so yeah it doesn't work for me on this Barbara thank you so much for sending all of these gorgeous lovies um I can't even believe the big ones I really need to reconsider my my lovey stash like I need to get some big stuffed animals all right let's get to the next one all right you guys the next box comes from Kelly and Kelly is from Wisconsin and this was on the back of the envelope and this was on the front of the card and it's obviously homemade it's beautiful thank you so much Kelly she says hi Rose enclosed are a few lovies for wings I have enjoyed making all the items on the list so far this year I sure am looking forward to seeing next year's list all items are machine wash and dryable blessings from Kelly Kelly Kelly, you're awesome. Are you guys ready? There are so many lovies here. Okay, so these are the little stuffies. I'll show you them two at a time. Look at these guys. I love the colors that you chose. Okay, so we have a little bunny, two bunnies, one pink and one brown. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like that um, pipsqueak velvet. I don't know. It's, it's so soft. <laughs> okay, we have more frogs because you can never have enough frogs. Look at how cute those are. I love the colors on this one. Okay, we have more bunnies. <laughs> There's a lot of bunnies. I love them, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, Kelly, did you do anything else in the past month except make lovies? Because <laughs> I'm so excited. This is so many of them. Look at how sweet that one is. And another frog. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we have like a little lamb. And then we have, what is this guy here? This looks like a little lion. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Kelly, where did you get these little stuffies from? I need to know because they're adorable. Here is, or here are two bunnies. <laughs> I love the colors. You did an amazing job. And then we have, oh, more bunnies. They're, they better like bunnies over there, right? Look at how cute that is. And the green matches so nicely. Here is another bunny. And then we have, oh my gosh, a little chick. And then here is the last one. This is a monkey. And this is like that pipsqueak yarn. It's 
so soft and this is so adorable. Kelly, thank you so much for sending all of these beautiful lovies. I am so excited to dr drop this off at um, at Wings on Saturday. Um, let us know where you got these little stuffies from because they're so cute. All right, um, we have three more boxes to go, guys. Hang on. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Jennifer, and she's from Ohio, and she has a YouTube channel here. She's called Crafty Bones, so I will link her down below in the description box if you guys can go check her out, and um, I know she showed all these on her YouTube channel, but I am going to show you them here again tonight. She sent me a huge box of lovies, you guys. All right, so here are the first two. It's a super pretty owl and this little teddy bear, and I love the colors that you used. These are super big, you guys, and so cute. Oh my gosh, Jennifer, I don't remember where you said you got these from. Wherever you got them from, let me know, because I need to go there. <laughs> All right, and then, oh, here's another one of those little um, Thai koala bears. Oh my gosh, and what is this guy? I don't know what this guy is. He's like a little lamb, and they're humongous. Look at the little feet hanging out. And look at the colors. Oh my gosh, these are so precious. Okay, and then we have some little lions. Oh my gosh. Check these out, you guys. There's three of them. Hold on. No, there's four. Oh my gosh. Look at their hair. Are you kidding me? <laughs> look at these guys. Oh my gosh, these are amazing, Jennifer. I love, love, love them. And we have this guy right here. He's got green eyes. And so the blanket has green. And then this is like the little pipsqueak yarn to line it. Oh my goodness. And we have two more. Oh, here's another one of those lions. She, she must have gotten a good deal on those. <laughs> and then we have this guy right here. And this one says Winkies. So that's the tag for that one. And these are big. Maybe that's why, like, I don't usually look at the big ones. I look at the small ones. I should start looking at the big ones. Jennifer, thank you so much for sending in all these amazing lovies. I love them. And if you guys aren't subscribed to Jennifer at Crafty Bones, go check her out. The link will be down below in the description box. All right, two more boxes to go, guys. All right, you guys, the next box comes from Judy, and she's from Virginia, and she has a, a YouTube channel here as well. She's uh, Judy's Crafts and Stuff, so I will link her down below as well. You guys should go check her out. She's very talented. And I have a note. It says, Hi, Rose. I hope all is well with you. Of course, these are lovies for wings. I did use the pattern by Z for all but one. The other one is by All Free Crochet and is called Bear Lovey. There is a tutorial on YouTube and a free pattern for it. Thank, thank you for all you do and share online. Take care, your yarn friend Judy in Virginia. Judy, thank you so much. Okay, this is the one that's, oh my God, a handmade lovey. So again, you guys, this is like the head um, and then the blanket comes right out from the head and this is the thing that I can't do and it's so cute. Look at that. I absolutely love this, Judy. It's awesome. And then I'll show you the rest of the lovies. Oh my gosh. So look at this lion, guys. And look at the, whatchamacallit, blanket. <laughs> and then we have a monkey. So we have a lion and a monkey. Oh my goodness gracious. We have a sweet little puppy dog and he's got a red and black blanket to match his paws and his spots. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this one is. I love him. Judy, I need to know where you got these from. <laughs> a monkey. He's adorable. So these are full size, you guys. And then the last one. Oh my gosh, look at the hearts on the paws. How freaking adorable is that? Oh my gosh, Judy, thank you so much for sending in all of these adorable lovies. I really do appreciate it. You guys, I'll link her down below and go and check out Judy. All right, we got one more box to go, guys. All right, you guys, can you see me over here? <laughs> the next and last box is from Mary, and she's from Indiana. And I have a note. It says, I do have cats in my house, but these were made before the cats were allowed to roam free. <laughs> I will understand if you have to skip showing my items. I just dug into my farmer's market stash and found these. Oh, my gosh. Mary, thank you so much for sending all of these lovies. Okay, you guys ready? I'm going to show you two at a time because there's so many. So I have these two right here. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, look at how pretty that is. I like the ripply thing. The box is right there, you guys. I'm not throwing them on the floor, I promise. <laughs> and then we have these two guys. These are little ones, a bunny and a dog. I love the colors. Oh my gosh. Okay, anything that's rainbow totally like catches my eye. And look at this sweet mermaid. Okay, so you guys, never mind. I can only show you this one. It's a mermaid doll. And look at how perfect the colors are. Oh my gosh, Mary, I need to know where you got these. <laughs> All right, we've got this guy. And we've got another one of these little monkeys. So adorable. Here's another rainbow guy. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is, is this like a tiger? He's something very cool, very colorful. And this is sparkly yarn. Both of these are sparkle yarns. What? Okay, then we have a bunch of these dolls. Oh my gosh, I love, I think someone said these are from the dollar, the dollar store. Here's two more. I love the dress. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have more of these dolls. They're so pretty. You, you did such an amazing job. Here's two more. I hate to squish their faces. Thank you for getting a brown doll. I appreciate that a whole lot. Oh, we are, these all go to people in Chicago. We do have a very diverse population in Chicago. So thank you so much. Okay, I honestly have to say, I think this frog is my favorite. And look at the colors. He looks like an apple or a strawberry. So much fun. And then here is a little elephant. Oh my gosh, and what are these guys called? Hedgehogs? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's a rainbow hedgehog. I love that. Okay, and then we have a couple more over here that I had to put on the chair because I ran out of room. This is another mermaid. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, some little person is going to be so excited to have that. And then we've got a little dog. And we've got a frog. And I did not mean for that to rhyme. A dog and a frog. <laughs> love them here is a little unicorn and the last one is this awesome panda bear this purple panda bear with a purple heart over his eye mary thank you so much for sending all of these amazing lovies thank you everyone who donated for this video um if you are watching this and you are watching it after october go back and look at part two and part three and part two and part three are coming up soon i don't know when but keep your eyes peeled for that and i appreciate all of you who donate to wings it really does make a big difference in these people's lives all right you guys that's all i have we'll see you later take care have a good day bye